What's up everybody, it's CBDB here. If you are new to my channel, what I do here is reviews, unboxing, and first impressions. So stay tuned and we are going to be reviewing the Tory Burch Miller Sandals. All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. Today we are going to be talking about my review or experience with my Tory Burch Miller Sandals. Um, I've actually bought these in Hawaii while I was there for vacation and the reason I bought them is because I've been wanting them for a really really long time and I couldn't get myself to pay $200 for a pair of sandals because I'm not that kind of person that just kind of spends a lot of money on you know expensive things I really did my research on them I read if they're comfortable or not if they fit my feet etc etc but I've never tried to pair so while I was there for vacation I decided to go to the store there since it was conveniently there in Honolulu uh, we went inside the store and I tried on a few pairs um, I did have to make two trips there to actually convince myself to buy these but once I tried them on I knew that they were going to be a good fit because my feet are very um, my feet are skinny and they are slim and so you know there's different shoes that don't work with my feet like Birkenstocks don't work with my feet so as you guys know these shoes are fairly expensive but these sandals are fairly expensive they're around $200 US dollars so I got the gold color ones and as you can see um, they're kind of worn um, I had them for about eight months um, I got them actually in October so I didn't wear them much during the winter time because it was kind of cold and now that it's warming up I have been wearing them almost every single day I do have these in size six usually I do wear size six and a half so these do run I guess small what you would say or um, I don't know maybe you just have to try them on for yourselves I will not buy these online just because like I said earlier uh, you know you just don't know if your feet are made for these shoes or not also the sizing is kind of weird so I got these in size 6 the sizing does run small to me but it might be different for you because you might have a wider uh, wider feet than me because mine are skinny and uh, slim you might have wider feet so you might have to go size up or half size up again I have these in color spark gold and all these I'm pretty sure are made out of leather unless they're I, I'm pretty sure they have some uh, jelly ones but I'm not sure but I do remember trying on some jelly ones I don't remember if they're the Miller though but again, I, I'm pretty sure all these are made out of leather uh, or the patent leather. I didn't want to go with the patent leather because I'm not a fan of patent leather, but um, wearing these in the rain versus the patent leather, I don't think that these have that much impact on the rain as far as like, you know, getting rain spots on them or anything like that just because I'm not, I'm not sure, but like the other colors you might have problems like just the regular black or brown and I'll touch on that too because I wanted the the brown ones and the black ones just to go you know to match more neutrally with whatever I'm wearing but I decided to go with these because gold goes with everything just about I was either gonna get these or the silver ones I think they had a silver one I tried on so many shoes I almost honestly don't remember so I went with these and um, you know they match everything so I can wear them with light color outfits I can wear them with dark color outfits you know any kind of outfits I can wear them with a the purple shirt if I wanted to and I love that I can dress up or down with these shoes they go with every outfit dresses skirts you know jeans uh, if you want to dress up go to church or something like that you can wear them anything like that now I want to kind of just talk about what the shoe comes with obviously the shoe comes with um, you know the shoes and then you get this box and inside the box you get um, this dust bag right here which I don't use because I wear them all the time so the dust bag I'm not sure why my dust bag is this way I think they gave me the wrong dust bag but yeah I having used this still has a little plastic thing on there and th that's what you get um, I still have everything in the box 
as far as the tissues and stuff like that because I'm weird like that. But these are what is left in the shoe. Um, they hold their shape really good so they don't fall down or anything like that. The leather is really, really sturdy. And while we're talking about the leather, I just kind of want to talk about them stretching and stuff like that. Now with my feet, because my feet are very slim, I haven't had any problems with them stretching. When I say stretching, I mean this upper part right here. I haven't had any kind of issues with this stretching or this side stretching or up here stretching, but with any kind of leather shoe, I'm you know pretty sure it will stretch to your feet if your feet were a little bit more plump or your feet were a little bit more wide. So now I want to show you guys the close-up on the wear of the gold shoes. These are the wear on the on my shoes. As you can see, you can see the toe prints and where the ball of my foot goes and then the wear on my heel. So those are the most worn parts of the shoe. Now I'm sure if you got the patent leather ones, you wouldn't interfere with this kind of experience that I'm having. But I'm really glad I went with this color and I'm still really happy with it. Um, I'm also really happy with the bottom of the shoe. Now you would think that if you pay $200 for a pair of shoes, um, <laughs> they won't have this plastic part because I actually like the leather uh, bottom shoes better. But I didn't get that option. So as you can see here, it has worn a little bit. Um, not too much though. That's just kind of where I drag my feet a little bit and it still has plenty of uh, sole left on the shoe. And again, I've had these for a good eight months. Um, I would say I wear these almost every day now and they are still holding up very well. Now I just kind of want to show you guys how they're stitched right here. They're stitched all the way around and I'm pretty sure they glue this shoe together but the way they glue it I don't know if they have like really good glue or what but it is a superior glue um, I just kind of want to exaggerate that because I had a pair of Jack Rogers and I have two boys and when we're out and about they like to follow really close to me behind me and they like to step in the back of my shoe a lot now anybody with kids you guys know this they like to step on the back of your shoe and um, my Jack Rogers were actually in Lowe's when this happened. He, my, my littlest one stepped on the back of my shoe, on my Jack Rogers shoe, and these completely came off. These right here, completely came off. I couldn't wear the shoe anymore, so I had to walk around Lowe's with one pair of shoes. Completely embarrassing, right? Yes, so <laughs> with that being said, my toddler has stepped on the back of these shoes plenty of times and they have not blown out when I say blown out they have not stretched over here and they have not came off so like I said going back to the glue and the stitching that really really helps um, they just use superior glue I guess so to wrap this video up would I buy another pair of Tory Burke Millers yes I would just because they fit my feet good and I personally think they're really comfortable and I can wear them up uh, dressed up and dressed down with whatever clothing I want. So yes, I would buy another pair. I wouldn't buy the same color, obviously, but I would buy another pair just because I personally like them and they fit me comfortably. Now you wouldn't obviously buy a pair of shoes if you didn't think they were comfortable or worth that kind of money, but I am the type that I like to buy things um, once and if they last really long with that brand, I will, I'm, you know, a complete, I completely trust that brand if it holds up to it. But I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you guys got a lot of educational from, from the Tory Burke Miller sandals. If you did, give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this, push the subscribe button and the little bell so you'll get notified when I make another video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!